What's up guys, Huso7 here and today I've got a video to talk about advanced warfare and specifically to break down a video clip um, talking about some of the lag that people are complaining about is plaguing the uh, advanced warfare multiplayer. Advanced warfare has been out for almost a week now and a lot of people are regarding this as one of the most exciting and best Call of Duty shooters that they've played, especially in recent history after the flop of Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, personally I've been having a lot of fun with it too. The EXO movements and a lot of the things, uh, new features in the game feel really new and exciting and it feels like a great game but I can't deny what many other users are reporting that <clears throat> the lag seems to make the multiplayer very difficult to play and in a lot of cases uh, very unfair. It got several images popping up on the screen. It seems that many sort of like major uh, media outlets, even Forbes, uh, is reporting on this now and it seems like there's a major call to action to Sledgehammer Games and to Activision to do something about this. The official Reddit thread um, has the word dedicated servers posted like 350 times or something and it's just interesting to see that to see how quiet um, seemingly some of these developers have been about this. This is obviously uh, a huge launch. There was a lot of uh, hype about the game, a lot of build-up to it, and this is something that uh, their fans, there's there's just an overwhelming outcry for um, this lag to be, uh, to be fixed, and we're getting no updates, um, no comments. It seems like there's nothing happening on Twitter or the Reddit, um, and a lot of the users are just being left in, in the dark, and it seems like if it's something that's not fixed, a lot of people are going to, I mean, this this could be a, a one and done for the franchise. It's going to be something that would be uh, really bad, and I would I would hate to see that, because I think that this so far is a really exciting game, and does have a lot of, of cool and new features like I was saying, and I'd like to see it be a game that, uh, you know, that people can enjoy, myself included, um, and especially based on how much work went into it and the new three-year model with the Call of Duty Studios, but especially after just some, some, some big, uh, you know, problems with recent games, I think that that people are already uh, hypersensitive to um, having high expectations, and right now they're being uh, pretty significantly let down from the connections that are plaguing the multiplayer. So let's uh, let's go through exactly what we're talking about. First off, if you click on screen or find the link in the description, I have the unedited clip of this. Uh, unfortunately, I recorded it using Xbox Game DVR, so it's not the best quality clip. It wasn't captured using my capture card. But uh, let's just go ahead and watch the clip at full speed first um, to take a look at uh, what we're dealing with. The enemy has the satellite! Okay, so you see that I get killed there, now let's go ahead and watch the kill. Our team has the satellite! Okay, now this is kind of an interesting thing. Now that wasn't a very good, uh, you know, you know, very good on my part. And again, this is me playing. And I, I take full uh, responsibility for the fact that I probably should have lost this gunfight. I didn't get, I wasn't getting shots on target, and that's okay. But did you guys catch that interesting thing there? Where in the kill cam, it didn't even show my character shooting. So what I want to direct your attention to is right now you can see on my screen that I have 28 bullets in my magazine. Uh, I've got the box around it, and as we uh, progress uh, forward through this, um, we're going to see that I am actually shooting at, uh, you know, at this player. So when I'm, I'm going to cut up here to this frame, which is kind of the best frame uh, that I can really freeze it on uh, before the screen gets all red, and you can see that I have 23 bullets there, and I'm actually going to have another frame where I have uh, 22 bullets, meaning that I'm shooting six shots at this player. In fact, I went ahead and freezed it on each frame so we could see the shots individually. So here we go, we have shot one. Um, and again, I want to point out too that uh, while I wasn't necessarily getting these shots on target, I didn't get a single hit marker from any of these six shots. And, you know, I, I, I'm not a, a, a number crunching probability master here, but even though that I'm not directly aiming at the person, the likelihood that all six of these shots missed, uh, in my opinion, is extremely unlikely. So we see here 27 shots. This is my first shot at the player. I'll cut to the second image here. This is my second shot. Again, you can see no hit markers. This is the third shot. The bullets are at 25 now. Here we have the fourth shot. This one, you can see the bullet clearly missing. And again, that one, no surprise there that there's no hit marker, but I am surprised that there's no hit markers on the other two. This shot, 23. Uh, and you can see now he's beginning to shoot me. And then this is the last uh, sort of frame we have before I go down. My bullets are at 22. Uh, and again, no hit markers or anything going on there. So uh, I, I clearly shoot uh, at least a few times at him. Now, even if there's some kind of diff 
difference uh, in the lag. I should be shooting at least a couple of different bullets at him, but when we go ahead and, and go through this clip again really slow, uh, you will notice that in the kill cam, it almost looks like I take zero shots, but I was able to find a, a freeze frame on one shot. So let's watch this clip again in the kill cam, uh, way slowed down, and uh, we will see what's going on here. We see that he's able to see me. I don't even have my gun drawn by the time he starts shooting me. There we go. If you caught it really quick, it happened uh, very fast, but there it is, the one shot that I took at the player. So there's just a major discrepancy here between on my screen showing that I'm shooting six shots and on uh, my kill cam screen, on the enemy screen, it is showing that I am only shooting one shot and he's able to be getting shots on my, uh, uh, you know, shots at me before my gun is even drawn. And again, if we, if we go back and watch the clip, that is clearly not what happened from my perspective. So this, uh, this was just one clip that I wanted to go ahead and do the breakdown with because um, I thought it was fairly obvious that I, I was shooting at the player and did not appear in the kill cam. But there are going to be kill cam clips like this happening all over the place. There's already several on Twitter that are slowed down or that are just even played at full speed that you can uh, very easily see that lag is really affecting the multiplayer uh, playability here. And there's a lot of people that are reporting that, you know, people are over-exaggerating the lag or that it's only affecting people with, uh, you know, bad connections or good connections. But really, I, I think that maybe people are just um, not aware or they're not watching their kill cams or something. It seems like the lag and the connections are a, a pretty major issue that's affecting the multiplayer right now. So I'm hoping that this uh, that this video gets pretty popular. Be sure to share it. You can tweet it, uh, put it on Google+, Plus, whatever you need to do. But I'm hoping that as more people are vocal about this, including YouTubers and other, uh, you know, video game review websites, I'm hoping that the developers will kind of see uh, what needs to be done here and take, uh, you know, immediate action to get something resolved because otherwise this game um, is something that I, I suspect will not do very well in the long run and honestly that would make me very sad um, because I was uh, had really high hopes for this game and I think many other people do and I'm, I'm really excited to see what this new studio would be able to offer and uh, right now it seems like what, what is coming through in terms of the multiplayer um, and what's coming through in terms of their keeping their community up to date is a uh, very subpar so be sure to tweet my question be sure to tweet your questions at me at whoso7 um, and share this video on Twitter so we can get uh, you know, Sledgehammer Game or Activision's attention. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the Advanced Warfare content I have coming out. Amidst these lag problems, I am enjoying the game, so I'm going to have a lot of videos coming out about perks, loadouts, uh, the armory, all sorts of things. So be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks so much for watching. This is 7 out.